G'day legends and welcome back. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. Make sure to drop a like and check if you subscribe because don't forget this is a second channel so maybe you were subscribed to the first one with over 80,000 but maybe you're not subscribed to this one so just check down below just in case. Something I've been meaning to mention for quite a little while now. I was recently on the OSRS podcast, the number one old school RuneScape podcast in the world. Sorry, Sabe. And we covered a whole bunch of topics and a lot of things related to the new PvP and the group Iron Man and all things like that. So that's linked below if you want to go check that out. And thank you for all the comments on yesterday's video. Here's some of the top comments. A lot of you were saying it was so wholesome to see the radish clip. And a lot of you were making jokes that it's 50-50 chance to get the boy and he's gone dry on that, which was pretty funny to hear. We'll keep this intro pretty short and sweet, but at the end of this video is the worst clip I've ever been forced to use, so make sure you hang around and check that out. But this is a permission-only channel, and we review and react to every single clip. Now, let's get into those clips now. Now, I'm sure you were very intrigued by the title of this video. Well, here's the clip with MMORPG. Damn. <gasps> what? No. Oh, my God. No way. Oh my god. And there we have it. No, it's not a troll. That is the rarest item in the game. You can see the drop rates here on screen. The pet for Skatizo is only 1 out of 65, but the jar is 1 out of 2,500. I don't know why it's so rare. I honestly think the JMod thought they were making the jar drop rate for a regular boss, because most of the regular ones are around that. But as we know, Skatizo is a lot harder to kill, because you need to get the totems first. And here we can see on Twitter, Annie explaining it much better than I could. And he did a good little comparison saying there's only about 3.7 thousand Ellie's in the game, so the Jar of Darkness is insanely rare. And next up we have Lina and she's just finished a top. Let's see what she gets. I'm purple. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. No way. No, no way. That was... <laughs> Excuse me. Very nice to get the dust. And the purple we didn't forget about was the Sanguine SD staff. So a very good raid. But would you believe it? There was a back to back with her team with Mr. Horror Duck getting the holy kit in the very next raid. Seriously? Seriously? Like, no joke? Yo, he f actually got it. So Rice Cup and his friend wanted to open the Masters together and his friend said he was going to get 3rd Age as a bit of a troll but actually ended up getting the 3rd Age wand which was pretty crazy. And if that wasn't crazy enough, well then Rice Cup decided to open his clues crawl and wait till you see what he got as well. What the frick? I got Gilded Chaps. <laughs> I'll take it dude, that's sick. That's 14. <laughs> but it's not 3rd Age. A pretty bad gilded item, but pretty cool to see the third age into the gilded. It could have been two third ages. Where are you, Mod Ash? Surprise, motherfucker. I'm actually a little bit tired today, so it's a good thing I've got a nice cup of joe in my brand new. Hold up. It's a good thing I got a nice cup of joe in my brand new behemoth mug. Mmm. Available, by the way, on the Behemoth store. Oh, boys, what an absolute legend. It is so good to see the streamers getting their merch coming in. Thank you very much, Mr. Tasty. It means a lot. The link is down below if you want to check out the store. Enjoy the video. All right, that's pretty good. Can someone clip that? Could someone clip that? Yo! Thee, you f madman. You absolute king. The king of the castle. The cornerstone, bro. Oh, la, la. Oh, well, king in the castle, king in the castle. I am the cornerstone, I am the cornerstone, la 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 la. <laughs> Probably going a bit hard out of the gates already, but I'm just too keen to start donating back out to the streamers. Excuse me. <laughs> Why are we doing this? As you can see, Molly Music was closing in on a thousand easy clues. She had a bunch stacked, but wasn't getting any items for the collection log until she got this pearl. Yes! It's about time, god damn it! Pog! And I'm no easy clue expert, but I'm pretty sure that would be the best item to get from an easy clue. Behe is the man! Plugging my sh all the time. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Where am I going? Failure. Why did I run so far ahead? Why did I run so far ahead? I do love Tasty, the poor fella. Next up, we have Greg, and him and his team have found someone who looks like they're not going to escape. Good fight. 
Thank you so much for your maximum, Zeef. I, th I think you forgot who you're attacking, buddy. My name's Gregstar. And there's the loot if you want to check it out. Lots of goodies in that pile. Welcome back to Deviate, and he's gotten himself a purple. Somebody just came in and said, Grat, if it's an arcane, a dex, or ancestral hat, something's getting broken. Oh my god, that's fucking awesome! This is awesome! This is awesome! That's actually so good! I can't even wear them! A big congrats to Deviate getting that on his hardcore iron, man. And let me know if you know what movie that little audio clip was from. Man. Oh, yeah. Here we have Butts doing some more Cerberus. We recently saw him get two of the crystals. Can he get the third? <laughs> we got the smoldering star. We got it, baby. Yo, let's go. That's exactly what I needed. That's my master clue done. Very lucky to have three out of the four at just 126 KC. But then he got this just 10 KC later. Let's take it. <laughs> um, I got. <laughs> I got a do prim. <laughs> Not too bad, but not the completion he was after. Hey, what are you doing? I'm, I'm a bad guy. Ladies and gentlemen, new log item. Oh, it's the gilded square coming out. Oh, I'm the master as well, bro. As we can see, Curtis was getting some very good RNG today. And I'll just quickly chuck in a couple of these clips. He was also getting some dragon stone items as well for his collection log. Where am I going? Why did I run so far ahead? So many. What? what? Why did I not move? And next up we have Krugs. This clip got completely muted by Twitch for copyright music, but he turns around and gets the TiVo, and you can tell how excited he is, and he was an Iron Man as well. The account is getting fairly stacked. Next up, Hughes starting the armor grind. I'm telling you, man. No freaking way! 3KC armor. <laughs> oh my god! How lucky is that? And here's a clip I missed a couple of weeks ago. He was doing a drunk stream and got the scepter. He was very happy about it. So decided to try out for the Olympics using his chair. And he just tumbles all over the place and hits the floor. Next up, we have Dean. And Dean, when did you sub to my channel? A year and a half ago. Oh my God. Oh my God. Getting the pet on just 75 farming. And you heard the man. He's been subbed for over a year. Havu's up next and he was doing some Fasani. Yes, yes, siellä on valo, siellä on valo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and next up we have Sher and she's been trying to get that Inferno cape. Let's see how she goes. Oh, there it is. Nope. What? No! It is funny, but I do kind of feel bad for her making it all that way, taking like two or three hours just to get merely by Jad. And speaking of the Inferno, here we have Sword Dane, and he's trying to get his first ever cape. He's got a couple of restores, but he's completely out of bruise. Let's see if he can just scrape it in. Holy sh! Finally. And he said it took him about a month worth of tries, and that was about his 10th Zuck attempt. Oh my god. So Qnix was about to get 99 thieving, but someone decided to pull a nice little troll on him. Here it is. 99. Where is she? Where did she go? Where did she go? 30 seconds. It's fine. I love you. Behemoth. All right, boys, here is the clip I did not want to post, but I said I would post every single picture of the merch or video for that sake if you're a streamer. What's up, guys? Tao here. Now, today I'm going to give you a no bull honest reaction to Behemoth's OSRS merch. I've gone ahead and got myself the black hoodie, and as you can see here, I've just ripped out the bag. It's already got clean print on the back. I froth that. I love that writing. Looks a bit metalhead, you know, like myself. Now, I'm going to chuck it on. We're going to check out the front. All right, here's what it looks like on the front. Nice tight fit. I've got a medium, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit snug on me, if I'm being honest, but I kind of like, you know, my clothing like that, as most of you will know. I've gone for the uh, small leg fire print, which is my favorite one on the website. The rune stone above it. Overall, I think it's a pretty good hoodie, if you ask me. Oh, lads, he has done behemoth dirty. The cornerstone is starting to crumble. But don't you worry, boys. There will be revenge. And it was very interesting he filmed that while only showing his upper half as well. Anyway, that's about all of that. Make sure to drop a like, drop a sub if you're not subbed. The merch is linked down below. And I'll see you all tomorrow in the same time at the same place.